Welcome back to the second half of New Jersey Power and Politics. I'm Laura Jones. And I'm Jim McQueen. Last week on this program, we had Patrick Murray on from the Monmouth University Polling Institute. Uh, they had released a poll about the public and the lack of faith the public has in the government's ability, the state government's ability, to get us through the current economic crisis. And uh, as you can see there, uh, the bottom line is, as a public, they seem to have little faith in the people in power. Just 10% of those poll fill. Current structure of government is really up to the task. Um, and the economy is not the only problem in the state. There's the culture of corruption also that plagues us as well. Yep, so what is the answer? Should we just sit and hope for the best? Well, the folks at Citizens Campaign have issued a call to service to the public. So if you don't like the current situation, don't whine, do something. Harry Pazicki is the chairman of the Citizens Campaign. They recruit and educate citizen leaders, which may ultimately lead to a situation where we have a government by the people and for the people. Good to have you here, Harry. Nice to be Sounds like fighting home. words. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to join. It's a very impassioned, uh, you know, delivery that, that, that I was working for then. Um, but you and I were talking just before the show about ways to get involved in government. You know, you think about, okay, well, uh, can I run for city council or run for this and run for that? Well, I don't have time to raise money. I don't have time to campaign. But there are other ways to get involved where you can really make a difference. Yeah, it's true. We've never been taught about the opportunities to take leadership roles in our government except to run for elected office. And most people don't have the time or sometimes the hide to run for public office. But the Citizens Campaign has identified four leadership roles that citizens can take uh, if they only have a couple of hours a week. Okay, well, let's talk about some of these things. Uh, one, you say, is serving on an appointed local or state board or commission. Correct. All right, so yeah. what, what, what does that mean, a, a state board or commission? What, give well, me some examples. I'll give you an example of a state board just so you can see the significance of citizen leadership. We just uh, had a conference at Monmouth University two weeks ago called the service to the business community. So we wanted to emphasize the importance of state boards to business people. Um, we brought the chair of the State Council on Investments. His name is Oren Kramer. They manage $80 billion worth of state pensions. And if you think that only affects the pensioners, you're, you're missing a big point. This really affects the future economy and taxes in the state of New Jersey. On a local level, you can look at someone serving as the chair of an emergency management council, a budget advisory committee. There are so many opportunities what to talk to the private Well, yeah, that's committee. what I was going to say. That is something that is appointed yeah. a lot of times. So you do oftentimes need a connection. So if you don't have that connection, you say serve on a neighborhood level party well, committee person. Well, we actually teach people how to make the connections. Well, we how have do you do we that? have uh, five courses available for free, online, on demand. Okay. In a half an hour, you can look at any one of the four leadership roles and get the instructions on how you take those positions. And that's at your website, which is? That's on the website, which is jointhecampaign.com. Okay, all right. And if you learn these simple procedures, we've already seen the success of it with people taking board and commission positions. We also do it in terms of the local political party posts. In this presidential election, everybody is saying, we don't like superdelegates. We wish the grassroots controlled. There are neighborhood positions for every neighborhood of 700 voters. There are four elected party positions, and most citizens aren't aware of them and they're readily available. All right, and we're going to have a link to your website on our website at news12.com. But you know, it's interesting that at my daughter's and my son's preschool, they have a hard time signing people up to, you know, hang out for two hours at a Halloween party once a year. What is it about? So many people are, are, are ready to complain, but they don't want to do anything about it. Well, the polling done by Monmouth University actually uh, uh, contradicts that. It shows that 40% of the citizens of Well, you haven't seen the sign-up sheet at my <laughs> child's preschool about how they're trying well, to get recruits for the Halloween party. I'll tell you, it might be harder <laughs> to do the Halloween party at your child's <laughs> preschool than it is to go. That's scary, right? <laughs> yeah, right. But, but there are 40 percent of the residents who feel that they could make a difference if they only knew where the opportunities for service were short of elected office. So you put out four different areas where you can get involved. Uh, tell me about number three and number four. Well, number three is citizen legislator and that's a role that we've made up to show people how to present their own proposals and we actually have a platform with expert government lawyers and uh, political experts that will help citizens bring their constructive proposals, as long as they're no blame, nonpartisan proposals, to their local government. And in 2009, the topic that we're featuring is cost cutting at the town council, the school board, and the county government. Citizens of New Jersey are right now in the face of a Category 5 property tax storm. And we can't allow ourselves to be left 
caught as the citizens in Katrina were. We have to be ready. We have to be prepared to address the cost of government aggressively and to take leadership positions to do so. What right? about the people who say, you know what, I, I'm so busy, I don't have the time. I, I hardly have time for, you know, to cook dinner, more or less, to get involved in one of these things. I suspect there's going to be a lot more free time because we're going to have a lot less discretionary income mm. to spend going out to shows and so on and so, 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 so forth. You know, the saying is, if you don't participate in government, you get the government you deserve, right? Or, or you know, on the, but let me ask a question. You said before that basically, and that poll showed, uh, it's a throw the bums out mentality here. Two thirds of those said the government really stinks and we want it out here, right? But yet, uh, at last year when the assembly incumbents ran, controlled by Democrats, uh, the numbers were just as bad in the public view of who was in the assembly, right, in this case? Mm -hmm. But yet the Democrats built up their majority. They won more seats on that kind of thing. What's the contradiction here? If they're so unhappy with the government, how come they're electing the Democrats in this particular case here in 06 to even more seats showing we like it? I think you're at a, a, a change uh, time. Um, my Aunt Annie used to say it's need that brings people together. I think people were beginning to sense that there wasn't uh, sufficient leadership to get us through the coming tough economic times. But until the market crashed, and until people started to see the impact on their jobs, on their incomes, and so on, there really isn't that kind of pressing need to take the helm of government and right the ship of state. That need is here now. That's where it's inspiration. Uh, and, and the fourth area that you say people can the get involved in is... The fourth area is emergency response. You can either serve on an emergency response council to coordinate emergency response in your town, or, for example, the auxiliary police. We're going to have shortages in local police officers as this property tax wave hits. Are we going to keep our community safe? It's up to us. We, the people, are part of this government, and government overhaul has to involve us overhauling our own role in government. Harry Pasicki, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. We appreciate it. We want you to stay with us here as we continue on New Jersey Power and Politics. Election Day is coming up fast, but first, Halloween. So we're going to blend the two momentous events, and the result is, well, we'll have the opportunity to interview the presidential and vice presidential candidates. I like that. Please, get a badge with that. I was just going to say that. Do you get your own badge? <laughs> no, no, oh, no, no gun, just a uh, badge. <laughs> hey, everyone, uh, Joey Norris up here to stop and assist in the process that we was just talking about. Stay with us as we continue on New Jersey Power and Politics, only on News 12 New Jersey. Thank you.